edition of Amped, we have the girls on games from our blog in the studio with us. Catherine is on the actual console playing against some shown listeners, and uh, Leah's here with me, and I've got Jason from Ubisoft Full House. How is it going? Are we getting a lot of requests? Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, if you've got your PlayStation 3 hooked up online, go online. And uh, Addis is a friend, our uh, number, what's our, our IP? Shom977 is our PSN ID. There you go, our PSN ID is Shom977. We're playing live online the uh, latest edition in the Assassin's Creed family called Red. Now, Jason, tell us about this game. How, how long have people been waiting for this? Oh, well, uh, it's the sequel of last year's game. Okay. So people, fans have been really looking forward to this, especially since it's the last game in the Ezio trilogy. Okay. So it picks up four years after Brotherhood, and here Ezio... Uh, finds out that there are secrets hidden by his uh, ancestor Altair at the Masayaf Castle. Oh, I feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> okay, exactly. This is a big epic journey, and Ezra okay. travels and gets to the castle, but he finds out that Templars, the bad guys, are there before him looking for the same thing. Oh, wow. So players across you know the story will have to retrieve the secrets from Altair, beat a bunch of uh, Templars, and. Uh, that now, was. now, when you guys work for Ubisoft, do you get like go? Do they put you in a room and go, okay, this is how it ends, but don't tell anybody, or do you have to actually play the game to find it? Uh, well, actually, uh, <laughs> well, in my, in my case, sometimes you know the developers like to work, you know, on their thing, and they're very, very busy people, talented people. So sometimes we get to learn as as prog- as the development cycle goes, and sometimes you know they keep us aside for a couple of a uh, couple of week, couple of months, secret, and then we find out afterwards. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got the game right in front of me now, and I'm watching. Uh, Catherine slay some people online, and man, this thing looks amazing. It is, it is, and the multiplayer aspect of it, it's, it's, it's pretty fun. We have introduced it first time last year in Brotherhood, okay. and this time around we just added a new thing, some new progress, and new unlocks that people can use. So. Crazy, crazy. Now, Leah, you, you've been playing this game for, uh, what, about a week now? Uh, about two weeks now. Okay, yeah. and how are you, uh, how, are you like, how, like... Loving it, it loving it. I'm yeah. a great, great big Assassin's Creed fan. Like, okay. I've been playing it since... The first one came out. Well, and, one of our uh, common friends worked on this game, right? Yeah, one of my really good friends, Alicia Lydecker. Yeah. Um, she's one of the, the AI developers, I believe, over at the Ubisoft. Yeah, she just, she, like, fell off the map for, like, eight months. We yeah. didn't know where she was, and then all of a sudden, this game and she started. appeared, and then she had this game, and it's magic, and okay. I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I've been playing the uh, single player, because um, I really, really love Ezio's storyline. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's just like it's almost like you're playing a movie. Well, it's that's that it. Good. And and, and uh, Jason brought in a couple of really cool things. We've got the Assassin's Creed: The Fall Deluxe Edition, uh, limited edition comic book. Who's uh who's done by Cameron Stewart, who I know, and Cameron's amazing. Yeah, he is. And we've also we've got also got an Assassin's Creed poster. We've got four sets of these to give away on the show. But uh, Leah's got a question. If you want this, Leah. And the question is, who's the main character? Who's the main character? Yeah. In Assassin's Creed. All right, 790-0977. If you got the number and you got the answer, you get the poster. So you're hanging out with the rock man. Uh, the girls on games just wrapping up, man. Um, tell me, how was it playing live? Awesome. Huh? Yeah? Great fun. Yeah? Yeah, I'm still at it. <laughs> Leah's still going. Uh, if you want to uh, check out what's going on in the studio, go over to showm.com. We are live streaming. And uh, Jason from Ubisoft, thanks for coming by, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. We saved the uh, the best for last. Not the best, but uh, I mean, you're getting a game on this one, right? Yeah, exactly. Tell me about this this game, Rocksmith. Rocksmith is basically our newest intellectual property at Ubisoft, where you can grab your own electric guitar. It comes with a special cable. You plug into your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, and then you can start learning how to play songs or just chant your favorite songs if you're already... Uh, an experienced guitarist. Right. So this isn't this isn't where you got to go buy the you know the colored tab. To go. I mean, this is no. this, you, you need to relax for this. Yeah, exactly. If you have any kind of electric guitar at home, as long as it has a quarter inch jack in there, which they all do. Exactly. Right. So you grab your guitar and then you start rocking. And I mean, this has got to really cut into the uh, music teacher market, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, there's all these guys that are giving lessons at home going. Screwed. Not necessarily, though. No, no. There's a lot of actually schools that are actually using it as a tool. Well, that's well. what I was reading about after is that when they released it, that there were schools that were picking it up and using it as a tool in the classroom to teach multiple students. So I think this is brilliant, and um, and I've seen it at work. Um, the girls had it in their uh, 
in their in their uh, think tank room, and it was just awesome. It was really really cool. I mean, it's like a real you know this is the real real deal. And it adapts to your difficulty as well as you play. So if you're really good, it, it, it ramps up difficulty. Right. And if you're a beginner, it starts slow, and then it adds you know new notes and partitions as you play the song. Now, so. Catherine, did you ever play guitar before? Uh, not really. So do, now that you played this a bit, can you like? Play like Smoke on the Water and Sweet Home Alabama. Or what are the songs that are on here? Okay, we've got Animals, we've got Black Keys, Cream, The Cure, David Bowie. Okay, Nirvana and Bloom. Like, can you play that now? No, not yet. Um, I'm I'm really bad at music in general. Oh, Stone Temple Pilots, Vaseline, Outshine by Soundgarden. I this love the Queen's awesome. Stone Age songs. It's like the songs I play it's on my great. show. This, this is, is so great. great. This is like shown in a video game. I know. This is incredible. Well, I I want to have you, Jay. I want to have you back in. Okay, and we'll do the same thing. But I want to get some listeners in here, and I want to play. Uh, again, I want to get some. I want to get a cool guitar player in here uh -huh. to play against a show listener. We're going to work on that for right. year. Now, what's coming up next year? Well, next year, well, actually, as soon as uh, December, we have the Adventure of Tintin. There's Wissing. Tintin. 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 What's Tintin? Tintin. Tintin. Tintin, mon ami. Okay, so so you got you've got the Tintin movie, which is coming, which will the world premiere is actually we're doing the world premiere here. Here in Montreal. And Shom's doing it uh, next week. Exactly. So and so you guys are bringing the game out at the same time for this. Exactly. Okay. And uh, and, and looking into the next year, can you give us any? Looking into the next year, after we have Ghost Recon Future Soldier releasing mm -hmm. in March, awesome. we obviously have a new Assassin's Creed coming in okay. 2012. And um, we have also Far Cry 3, okay, which is developed here in Montreal as well. And further down the road, we have a new Rainbow Six coming in 2013. And that's the thing, like these games are all done here. Yeah. And, and you guys have this like big complex on Mount Royal. Right? We have 20, 2,500 people working. Uh, and I hear it's the coolest place in the world to work. Is like you don't have to wear a suit and a tie to work, right? No, exactly. And, it's all cool. And it's organized. like this cult thing going on, man. I want to go work at Ubisoft. <laughs> All right, so we have a copy of Rocksmith to give away, and we've got this great hat that I'm wearing, which I'm going to have to give up. It's okay. I, I don't mind. Um, Catherine, what's the skill testing question on this one? All right, so earlier Jason mentioned some of the games that Ubisoft released this year. Yeah. We want to hear a game released by Ubisoft this year that isn't Assassin's Creed Revelation nor Rocksmith. 7900977 if you got the answer for that. Leah, thank you. Thank you. Want to give a shout-out to uh, who? I don't even have to shout out to my uh, family in Newfoundland. Yes, the yeah, listening from they're the rocking rock. from the rock. Be rock on the rock. That's right. Beautiful, Jay. Thanks again. We'll see you very soon, sir. All right. Thank you for bringing by the goodies, Catherine. Awesome. All you guys, keep hanging out. More amp coming and uh, seven nine zero oh nine seven seven. If you got the answer to that question, a beautiful copy of Rocksmith right here for you. The spirit of rock. Show. Show. Ninety seven seven.